Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Are you uh, ready? Thank you. Yes, we are cha ready, Chair. Chair, I'm not sure whether Chair would like to entertain the um, the submissions on the videos now before we start this morning because uh, uh, Mr. Cloudy's team wants to persist with that request. Unfortunately, we couldn't resolve it. Yes. Yes, uh, yes. Maybe we should deal with them now before yes. we continue thank you. with his evidence. Thank you, Chair. May I let him then come? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Good morning, Chair. Good morning. Uh, Chair, we believe it is important that, uh, like we intimated yesterday before you, that uh, these videos ought to be played uh, to assist uh, in the evidence gathering before this commission. As you are rightly aware is that uh, Mr. Slaudi Mtsoneng is here as an invited witness to this commission. And uh, secondly, also, there have been other witnesses we have implicated him in their testimonies. So in order to ensure that his testimony does not uh, become assailed by mistruths and uh, misconjunctures and uh, evidence that is not aligned with the objects and purpose of this uh, commission, I believe it is imperative that uh, video evidence be admitted. And this is also in line with the Commission's Act, which is uh, Section 3 of the Act. I don't want to uh, gore in, and uh, the avenue of having to uh, adduce case law before you, uh, Chair. Suffice to say that uh, I think it is important that the videos be uh, played, and they're not very sh long, they're short videos. And remember, there one of one the- There's one that Mr. Norman said uh, is about an hour in duration, if I'm not mistaken. No, the one that is an hour duration, uh, we, I spoke to, um, Ms. Norman yesterday, and uh, we agree that that one we're not going to play it, but there are the shorter ones, which oh, okay. won't take much of the time of the commission if those are played, uh, because I believe it is important that they be played. And how, may, how many of them? Are, uh, it's about three of them, I think. Three. And, and, and uh, all together would take about how much time? Uh, all together, I think they'll take, give and take, uh, 25 minutes. Yes. Uh, uh, talk to me about what each one of them is, is about. Okay. Uh, primarily, remember yesterday there was an issue about the letter of Mary Swanepoel about the issues of what she had used in that letter pertaining to the metric certificate of Mr. Laudi Mitsuaneng. And in order to corroborate his issues that indeed he has always been truthful and always been mindful of the fact that he does not have a, a metric certificate, there are uh, video recordings of uh, meetings, gatherings at the SABC where people are addressed by even one of the former group executives of the HR stakeholder, that is Mr. Kyobukele Musweo, acknowledging in public that Mr. Musweo does not have metric. And that corroborates these issues. So that was all we're trying to do is that we're trying to nail uh, the, uh, the sale to the mast in yes. ensuring that enough evidence is before this commission. But if we don't do that, uh, Chair, we will not be doing this uh, commission uh, oh, enough okay, uh, all right. justice. So, uh, that, is the, that is one of the... That is one of the... Uh, yes. Let, let, let's deal with that one. As I, as I understand the picture that has emerged as far as the issue of metric, metric is concerned. Uh, it's common cause that Mr. Mutsuneng did not at any time pass metric. So that, that's, that's, that's one. Two, from what he has said and from the correspondence, from some of the correspondence that we have seen, including the letter signed by Ms. Swanepoel, but I think there is another one that I saw last night, which I think wasn't mentioned here. Uh, Ms. Swanepoel's letter and the letter that I'm talking about, which I, 
I don't think was referred to yesterday. Uh, make it clear that according to the authors of those letters, uh, Mr. Mutsuaneng had made it clear that he did not have metric. Then there is the there is another letter that was referred to yesterday uh, that was written by somebody I forget the name, which also which uh, also seemed to be consistent with that story. Now. That's not in dispute. As I understand uh, the allegation that he lied about his metric, as I understand it, the only basis that has been advanced for that, or at least from what I've heard so far, I don't know if anything else will emerge later, is what he wrote in the application for employment form. Namely, where it says highest standard passed, then he wrote standard 10. And, and as I understand it, that's the basis also on which the public protector's finding seems to be based. I may be mistaken, and it may be not everything. But th that seems to be the position. Now, if the reason, the basis for saying he lied is what he said in that form, any video of what was said in a subsequent meeting uh, doesn't appear to me would help much because what we have is he has conceded that writing that he had passed under 10 there was not true. But he says he did it on the advice of Ms. Sonepul, and he says, looking back, he should not have accepted that advice. And uh, we had all his evidence around there. So to the extent that the video will show me what people may have discussed many years, in some meeting many years after the date of that form, I don't think would, would, would help much. Because uh, he accepts, and uh, certainly I accept, that it was not true to say he had passed an attempt. But he simply says, when you look at the fact that I wrote standard 10, I passed standard 10, don't look at that in isolation. He says, look at the circumstances, and I'm saying I was uh, following uh, uh, Ms. Swanepoel's advice. So that, that, that's my inclination about the, that video. I don't know if you want to say anything. Uh, Chair, I have a, a bit of a, a difficulty in mm. taking to grasp. Uh, whilst I respect mm. your views on mm. these issues, mm. but remember, at the end of the day, mm. Mr. Mutswening, a character and reputation and dignity and integrity has been assailed not only before this commission, mm. it has been assailed in the public projectors report, it has been assailed in the parliamentary ad hoc uh, committee reports. It has been assailed by media peddling lies about this metric issue, uh, Chair. And I believe. But, but, but remember. Whilst this. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm yes, sorry. Okay. I, I'm, I'm interrupting you, I'm, I'm sorry. But remember that even Mr. Msoneng, at least before me, he is not saying that writing in that form that he had passed under 10 was the truth. 
even he is not saying that. So all he is saying is, I followed a certain advice, and that happened under certain circumstances, and people shouldn't just look at that only. Now, he, is say, he has said that yesterday here in public, everybody is listening, including the media, they are watching, they have heard it, and uh, documents have been referred to which reflect that a number of people from within the SAPC say, no, 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 Mr. Msoneng never uh, concealed the fact that he didn't have metrics. So that's, that's been ventilated. Some of the letters have been read out here. So, 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 so make, you can make your submissions, but I'm making these remarks so that okay. as you make your submissions, you can know what's going on in my mind and address it uh, pertinently. Okay. Um, Chair, just lastly, still pertaining to the issue of the metric. Uh, I believe, the, the, like I said, the, 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 boss, the videos are not long. Uh, uh, or unless, if uh, I'm of the view that if you feel that they're gonna take up the time of the commission, which I understand, but if they can be received as evidence, and then even when you as the chair retire to make your findings, you are able to relook at those videos and be able to come up with your own conclusion. If that then can be as part of also our way of uh, assisting the commission pertaining to the evidence, the video evidence in that regard. Maybe, maybe what we should do, maybe we, we should uh, not make any decision about what should happen to them, about them now. Maybe I should hear the evidence, maybe when I've had even all the evidence from um, everybody, uh, if then I can assess the situation. And if I think that they would add value, then maybe I could then say, let's let 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 them be shown. So maybe, if 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 it's fine with you, maybe let's not deal with that matter now. Let's wait until um, all the evidence has been led, and then we take it from there. Because as I speak to you, it doesn't appear to me, and of course I haven't had other witnesses who will still come, but it doesn't appear to me that uh, anything is emerging that suggests that Mr. Msoneng was going around saying he has got metric. You know, certainly he says, I never went around saying I have metric, and there are certain people who who have written letters which seems to uh, uh, corroborate that already. And maybe nobody is going to uh, dispute that evidence which he has given, you know. I never went around saying I have metric. On the contrary, I was open from the start when I was uh, approached by SABC to say I don't have metric. And uh, the only thing is whether writing in that form that he had, he had passed in a 10, um, when one has regard to all of the circumstances is whether it changes the picture or not. So maybe, maybe we shouldn't uh, decide. Maybe you should uh, consider holding the application back in regard to that video and assess the situation later. What do you think? Uh, I agree with you, with the approach. It's consonant with uh, what I've also uh, been in discussion with uh, mm -hmm. witness. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted just uh, a, an additional issue, uh, Chair, is on the issue of purging of staff. Because remember, one of the allegations is that Mr. Cloud Musoning was purging the staff. Uh, in other words, there were some derisory acts upon him that uh, ended up in the SABC losing uh, money as, as a result of the so-called paging of staff. And one of the videos also will be able to lay to rest that aspersion. So, but uh, like uh, I said, I'm, yes. I'm uh, mindful of your view and uh, yes. we can uh, pack the can application pack them, yeah. for, for the views 
to be ex examined or viewed for now later. until at a later stage. Yes, you, you, you have seen the videos. You, you are in a better position than I am. But certainly in regard to the first one, those are my preliminary thoughts. And, but it may be that, that when you look at those thoughts, maybe they apply to all three. Um, but because I haven't seen them, I, I can't say until you tell me this one is, a, the second one is about this, the third one is about that. So, so, so uh, do, do you think those views might apply to all three, the preliminary remarks that I've made? Yes, it does. It they, does. They it, do. it does. Yes. Definitely will assist in the interest of yes. justice. Yeah, sure. Okay. No, that's all right. So I think I think then we 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 I think we are agreed that let's pack them, and then you can review, you can renew the application at a later stage when we have maybe a full picture. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chair. Yes. Thank you. Um, Mr. Musuneng, uh, yesterday we dealt with uh, three policies, at least, that um, got changed during your time, which, which we, can't, we covered. But what I'd like to know from you, are you aware of the Policy and Regulatory Affairs Department within the SAPC? I'm, I'm aware. Of that, of the of a, a department called Policy and Regulatory Affairs Department. Yes, I'm aware. Yes, what does that department do? Uh, Mary, maybe through your chair, uh, I just want to clarify uh, one or two issues, chair. Very short. Yes. If you allow okay. me, chair. Uh, chair, I think I'm here not to defend myself. I'm here to tell you the truth, whether wrong or right. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to come and defend, mm -hmm. because the media, the way they are reporting issues, it seems as I'm here to defend myself. Mm -hmm. You are here, Chairperson, mm -hmm. to hear the truth. Mm -hmm. Your findings will mm -hmm. come, whether I was wrong or right, mm -hmm. That is you who will do that. So mm. I just want to deal with this issue, Chairperson. Yes, yes. I'm concerned yes. when media report that I'm here to defend myself. I'm mm. not defending myself. Yes. I'm just telling the truth the way I understand the yes. issue, Chairperson. Yes. And I'm not blaming anyone, Chairperson. Yes. Yes. And other point, Chair, is the one of the issue that I want to deal with, uh, especially about media, Chairperson. I think about? that media chairperson. Yes. I think their role is to discredit me even now. Because yesterday uh, I spoke about uh, me lecturing at a vet business school. It is true chairperson. I have the documents. I will produce that document. Uh, I was invited and it doesn't mean that when I'm saying I was lecturing I was employed by by vets even in my affidavit i'm able to say society i mean it's it's, it's normal chairperson but they twist what i said in this co uh, commission chairperson i just want to uh, 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 clarify those issues because of the tweet chairperson that came from someone from a, a, a vets business school that tweet is the wrong chairperson i have been invited uh, more than three times i think at the vets business school to lecture, there is a video that demonstrated that. Yesterday, Chairperson, after that tweet, someone uh, uh, answered that tweet and play a video where the SABC itself uh, 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 play uh, 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 that video where I was uh, uh, lecturing at VETS. They covered that story. It is there for everybody to, to, to see, Chairperson. Yes, so, yes. That's why I'm saying, Chairperson, mm. the media, the way they do things, it is wrong. Because for them, it seems as they are angels mm. who are, we are very bad. Mm. You, you know, that is where I have problem, Chairperson, because we are human beings. No, it's, it's very important that the media should give a balanced, um, give balanced news. And, uh, and I, uh, but I, I'm, I'm confident that even the clarification that you are giving 
uh, or the elaboration where you say what was said that came from uh, Vets Business School was not correct and that you actually have material and you say you were not invited just once. You say it was three times and you say actually SAPC even have or somebody has even a video. So uh, they, they hopefully they will you know report on that as well. Yes, Chairperson. Uh, lastly, Chairperson, just to close the issue of visuals. Uh, in my view, Chairperson, the journalists, they argue about public interest, that what they are doing is in the public pro uh, uh, interest. I have a different view, but by guided by the act itself. It can be burning school, burning clinics. It is in the public interest. My view is different. It can be in the public interest. No, <laughs> no, Mr. Musumeng. Obviously, nobody would say banning school is is in the public interest. But I think what you mean is what you are talking about is whether reporting on the banning of school or showing the visuals of the banning of the school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, chair. I, I, no, chairperson. I agree with you. But the they are, for, yeah. for me, yes. in, in, in their own minds, in their own view, by showing these visuals is in the public interest. That is what they argue here, Chairperson. So yes, I'm just the saying, showing of the visuals, yeah. Yes, they are saying it is in the uh, 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 public interest. I'm saying it is not mm. in the public uh, uh, interest, mm. interest because it is also been identified by the act. It is not mm. in the mm. public interest. Mm. I, I just want to clarify that issue, Chairperson. Especially yes. when you look, uh, the role of SABC, one of mandate is to educate. Mm. Mm. How do you educate people, mm. encouraging them to mm. ban uh, uh, schools or clinics, Chairperson. Just is that uh, sh uh, in short, Chairperson? Yes. No. I'm, I'm. 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 I have a strong suspicion that Ms. Norman will be going there yes. to you, to ask you some questions on your views in that regard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, thank you, Mr. Musunenga. Asked the question um, of the what what does what is the role of that policy and regulatory um, affairs department within the SABC? Their role, Chairperson, is to deal with uh, regulations within SABC, including working together with ICASA, even our proposal on the policies and so on during the consultation. They will be part of that team and they will take the SABC uh, uh, views or opinions on the matter and contribute. So they, 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 they monitor the regulations within the SABC. So in other words, any policy that anyone within the SAPC proposes must go through that department, which department will then take it through to ICASA? Yes, Chair. Normally what we do, Chairperson, as I said yesterday, we have summits at the SABC where we'll come with a, 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 maybe policy or some of the issues. So where we discuss all these issues, their role is after we have taken decision, they will be able to inform uh, ICASA on such matters. Example, when we're dealing with uh, 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 the policy when it comes to news, uh, when it comes to uh, uh, content, their role is to uh, 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 relate those uh, decisions within the SABC to ICASA. Yes. And then ICASA is to see whether constitutionally the policy that was being mooted or is being mooted by whoever within the SAPC is um, in line with the constitution and all the um, regulatory framework of the SAPC. Correct, Chair. Yes. Now, let's talk about the 1910 policy. Did that policy, uh, I call it a policy, but, but the 1910 uh, directive or instruction, did that in fact become a policy of the SAPC? Yes, uh, Chair, uh, it is a, a, a policy, and that policy arises from the Broadcasting Act. Because when you read a, a Broadcasting Act, it says that the role of SABC is to develop a, a local content, 
is to develop production houses, but also is to cater 11 languages. So when I was arguing about this local content, is here chairperson. We are guided by Broadcasting Act, but also as human beings, we want to make sure that people who benefit are South Africans first. Yes. Now, let's, let's, I appreciate that, but let's talk about this. When you felt that the 9010 policy it must be developed, did it go through the department, um, the policy and regulatory uh, department of the SABC? Yes. Reason being chair, as I said, we have uh, uh, all this uh, uh, summit, we have ESCO meetings, uh, 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 where the team sit together, we brief uh, 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 the team, but also remember, the policy is the board issue. It goes through the steps within the organization, it goes to the, uh, 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 the board for approval. Um, did it, are you aware whether it went to ICASA? Because you remember when you outlined the role of that department, you mentioned ICASA. Did that go through to ICASA? Uh, that is the role of the, uh, uh, that unit within the SABC to inform ICASA about the, all the decisions that we are taking in the SABC. I will take that they have taken to ICASA okay. because that is their role. Now, that's the one policy. Let's talk about then the violent... Um, a protest um, policy coverage. Did you regard that as a policy? The violence policy is the act, is the law. Is here a uh, chairperson? I think in my affidavit, mm. I, I also quote the act that you can't lamaratize uh, 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 such a visu uh, visuals. It is unlawful to do that. Uh, we are guided by the act, the chairperson. We may be wrong, Chairperson. Where I'm, I'm, I, I'm saying that's why I'm, I was saying I'm not here to defend. I'm just here to explain my understanding and what I did, Chairperson. And Chairperson, you know people are shocked because they were thinking that I'm coming here to defend. To say I'm not here to defend, Chairperson. And I want to emphasize that you will decide. I may be wrong. I may be right. That is not me to decide on the matters. That is how SABC were operating. And that is how we feel that we are supposed to do things the way we did. Yes. Uh, maybe, no. maybe, maybe I, I can yes, just uh, uh, explain uh, the difference between the act and regulations and the policy. Now, because she asked you whether uh, the uh, instruction or directive relating to not showing the visuals relating to banning of, of property, whether that, that should not be shown. You, know, the, the, you would find that there is the constitution of the country which deals with a lot of things, placing obligations on institutions and people and uh, uh, conferring rights on people. Then you have got legislation and act. All of those are binding in regard to certain issues. When they place an obligation, you are, it's binding. And uh, where they give a right, that right is um, is a right that uh, should be respected and people can go to court about it. And you might have regulations which are promulgated in terms of an act of parliament. They deal with more details that an act might not deal with. And then you have got a policy. Uh, a policy usually <coughs> is a um, is a guide. It's not rigid, usually. That's the main difference, I think, between an act or regulation and a policy. But the policy must not be in conflict with legislation or with the Constitution. So a policy is supposed to say, this is how we will normally deal with this kind of situation. But it doesn't necessarily mean that there can never be a deviation if circumstances require a deviation. So, so, so that, that, that's, that's, that's uh, 
the understanding, that's the distinction that uh, I thought I might just mention. Uh, maybe then we can go back to the question. Thank you, Thank you Chair. Uh, so, so, so in other words, uh, the, there would be a, a difference between the policy and an act, but the two might be saying the same thing. Oh, and so on. Yes. Okay, all right. You want to say yes. something? Y yes, Chair. Yes. Uh, Chair, I agree with you 100%, uh, uh, because my view is the policy should, should, should we should align any policy with the act. Yes, Chairperson, I agree with you 100%. Uh, That's why, Chairperson, I'm having this book. Yes, and when yes. we took these decisions, I was reading this book, Chairperson, okay, very okay. well. Yes. I may be wrong in yes, my reading, but, but I was guided by this book. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Chair. Now, having then, uh, when the Chair has explained to you, Mr. Mutsuneng, how the, the, these two differ, the instruction to people not to cover um, or to the journalists not to cover violent um, protests. Now, what I'd like to understand, did that instruction go through the policy and regulatory framework department so that they could assess the type of the instruction that was being given and how would it affect the existing policies and how would it relate to ICASA's mandate? Uh, Chairperson, it is not a policy. It was a decision that uh, we have taken at the SABC. Uh, myself and Dr. Chizumba, who was in charge for uh, PBS and PCS, your commercial and your public uh, uh, platforms. So we discussed these uh, uh, issues before we released that uh, uh, press statement. But we didn't say they should not cover a uh, chairperson because I want to clear this issue. We didn't say they should not cover. Well, I was going to come back to that later on to say, let us hear exactly what it, it whether it's a police or a decision, what it said should or should not be done. Yes, chairperson. Uh, we, 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 when we release a statement, Statement is released by the spokesperson of the organization. I, I, I saw th that statement saying, uh, talking about we are not going to uh, uh, show the, 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 uh, the people burning uh, what, um, building or whatever, burning, let me use this uh, word, burning. B but uh, the intention of that, it was people should be responsible when they report about these issues, Chairperson. Uh, you know, because people, they were having really different views, especially media general. I was called by a press club, myself and Dade Joe Tolo. I explained there to say, look, what we are saying here is, we are saying, don't show the physicality, which means the physicality, Chairperson, it will be if someone just come and bend this, uh, and we are, we, are, we are inside this room, don't show those visuals where people now are, are, are seen being bent. That was the intention, Chairperson. Even after that, SABC has been covering uh, 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 such uh, uh, visuals. It's just the responsibility part. We are not banning anything, Chairperson. We are just saying, let us be responsible and show that we are responsible when we deal with these issues. It is not uh, really uh, banning. So, so are you therefore saying that if are you therefore saying that that decision was not to the effect that if an SAP journalist is covering a protest and protesters set a building alike or a clinic or a school, they should not show that per se. You were simply saying uh, if there is something else other than just the banning of the property, like maybe somebody who was trying to come out of the building being caught in fire, don't show that part. I, is that what, what you are saying the decision was about? Yes, Chairperson, the decision was just be responsible mm -hmm. when you, you deal with these issues. 
And that is not uh, uh, where uh, we are uh, instructing people don't uh, uh, cover the story. Mm -hmm. That was not the issue, Chairperson. Mm -hmm. And I will allude to this, Chairperson. Sophie Mugwen and uh, Nothando Maseko, they were concerned about that statement mm -hmm. immediately after releasing that statement. Mm -hmm. Early in the morning, uh, they arrived in my office mm -hmm. to ask, hey, COO, but what is this? issues that uh, you are talking about now. We don't understand. Can you explain? Mm. I explained to them. Mm. They did understand where I come from, Chairperson. Mm. That's why all the Pretorias uh, riots, they were covered mm. uh, during my time. Mm. The issue is that let us be responsible mm. when we deal with these issues. Mm. And Chair, yesterday I said I have been a journalist. Mm. You know when people mobilize, even calling us as journalists to say, you know, tomorrow we are going to do one, two, three. Mm -hmm. I was saying it is wrong. Mm -hmm. So we as uh, SABC, uh, including the journalists of SABC, mm -hmm. they should not do that because immediately when you become part of that, mm -hmm. you are not doing what you are supposed to do, Chairperson. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with uh, burning as people are, are putting it, Chairperson. Mm -hmm. And I'm on record, I have explained several times, mm -hmm. Chairperson, on those issues. Mm -hmm. okay. I think what becomes important is to understand exactly what the ambit of the directive or decision was and to understand how the journalists who were supposed to comply with it, whether it told them this is what you should not do and therefore they would know, if I do this, I will be in breach of this decision. Or whether it was difficult to say exactly what it, what it means. Uh, you, pull, you say the, the idea was be responsible. Now, of course, when you say be responsible, the question would be, what does that actually mean? Now, we, we have used one example which um, I seem to think you, 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 you said you, it would fall within the decision, the ambit of the decision, namely if a building is burning and somebody was trying to come out now is caught in the fire, please don't show that part. Did, did you say that would fall within what you would say don't? If you are responsible, you are not going to show that part where the person is burning. Yes, Chair. Yeah. So, so the the question then would be, how far uh, how far would this go? When are you being responsible? When are you not being responsible? If the idea is not to say, don't show the burning of property at all, because of course, just from observing publicly, uh, there will be very few instances where people, properties being banned during a protest and, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say there would be very few, but <laughs> I, I hope there wouldn't be too many instances where people are inside the, the building. Uh, but wh wh what, what other examples could you give to say, well, it would have been in breach of that decision or in defiance of that decision if a journalist did A, B, C, D? Uh, Chairperson. Or did you not go that far in, in uh, <coughs> excuse me, clarifying it in your own mind? No, Chef Person, uh, the issue here, Chef Person, is where, where the, in my affidavit, I refer where the act says you can't lamaratize uh, 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 violence, you can't show explicit uh, 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 visuals. So I have. Uh, clarify these issues, what informs is the act, Chairperson, because if we operate outside this act, it will be unlawful, Chairperson. I don't want to say that because I'm not Chairperson. Uh, I'm not uh, in your position. You, are, you have the right to say that, but I'm just saying it's, it's my understanding because I don't want to... Uh, yeah, yes, Chairperson, it will be unlawful because we are guided by the act, Chairperson, because if we are going to do and operate outside this act, I have a serious problem, Chairperson, because this act is not covering private media. It's covering 
a public broadcaster, Chairperson, in my understanding. So people, they want to compete in the space equally with the private media. That is where I think we have different views, uh, Chairperson, and understanding of how we should do, uh, uh, deal with these uh, uh, issues, Chairperson. M maybe, Chairperson, to come in to, to your example that you did about someone going out and then uh, someone now, the visual show the person as uh, uh, yes, Chairperson. So, to be honest, Chairperson, that is not allowed. Yes. Now, now that, that, that I wanted confirmation that w w that situation would fall within what your decision was saying should not be shown. And then my question was to see whether you are able to point out other, maybe two or three other examples of the kind of thing that should not be shown when you say be responsible. Hey, Chairperson, this other is a difficult one because publicly, you know, there is language that you can't uh, you, you, oh, you, you, okay. you, 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 you okay. can't use there. There, yes. there, there are several, yes, yes, but uh, because yes. I'm at a public yeah, uh, platform, no, no. Yes. but uh, uh, I can yes. uh, uh, write another affidavit <laughs> <laughs> what I meant, because some of the issues, to be honest, publicly, okay. I, even myself, I, yes. I, I don't want to deal with them, but okay. they, they, they are okay. few. Yes, no, no, that's fine. Ms. Norman? Thank you, Chair. May mm. I just refer to the, the, the it's, it's referred to as the ed editorial um, edict. I mean, if I may just refer, Chair, to a Just bundle. one second. Oh, sorry. Thank you, yes. Chair. It's um, Exhibit CC05 to Exhibit CC16. Uh, CC05 to CC16. Chair, I would not have asked that it be placed um, before you. I decided that maybe it's better if they are laid here and then every time it's put up uh, because they're just 5 to 16. That's why you've got a long list of names on it. Don't have it. Did you get the name of Ch the, the num the what exhibit is C correctly? <coughs> we've got about sixteen names on it where you have Mr. Peary and them. Is I remember I have got some here. Uh, if you say, if you tell me, the page, I it's could, one could, which has got what uh, the policy. Oh, thank oh. you, Chair. Yeah, no, okay. Chair, this is the one that's got the instruction oh. on, on the on the protest. So. Okay. Thank All you, right. Chair. Um, well, thank uh, you, uh, um, uh, Mr. Mr. Musoneng. Could you please just have a look whether you remember? He said he doesn't have to have oh, a look. Have he he read, remembers so these <laughs> things. But I said that if he does, he does need, need it, he must then just he can say indicate. so. Yeah. Thank you, Chair. I Chair? think read to him what, yes, you what, have what is contained. And, uh, yeah. yes. Thank you, Chair. Um, I would like you to turn to um, CC12, which is the statement of Mr. Uh, Jakob Daniel Kriche. To his statement, he attached the Labour Court judgment. I've got the Labour Court judgment in front of me. In, yes, Chair, that is yes. where the, the edit is quoted. Quotes. It quotes it. It quotes yes. it, yes. yes. Thank you, Chair. At page 84. Okay. Thank you. If I may just read, Mr. Um, Nsuneng, what the Labour Court recorded. Uh, so, but you are reading uh, the statement issued by the SAPC on... Uh, on protests as yes. quoted by the Labour Court. As quoted by the Labour yeah. Court, yes. Okay. Yes, thank you, Chair. And then the Labour Court in paragraph 8, just it, on page 83, it says, it is now well known that on 26 May 2016, the SABC issued the following news editorial edict known as the protest policy, which stated, SABC will no longer broadcast footage of destruction of public property during protests. Johannesburg, Thursday, 26th May 2016. The South African Broadcasting Corporation, in brackets SABC, has noted with concern the recent turmoil arising from violent service delivery protests in various parts of the country. The SABC, as a public broadcaster, would like to condemn the burning of public institutions and has made a decision that it will not show footage of people 
burning public institutions like schools in any of its news bulletins with immediate effect. We are not going to provide uh, publicity to such actions that are destructive and regressive. The SAPC is cognizant of the fact that citizens have constitutional rights to protest and voice their concerns on various issues that they are not happy with. But we also do not believe that destruction of property is the best way to voice those grievances. These actions are regrettable and viewed as regressive on the developments made after 22 years of South Africa's democracy. Continuing to promote them might encourage other communities to do the same. The SABC would like to stress that we will continue to cover news without fear or favor. We will not cover people who are destroying public property. The SABC Chief Operating Operations Officer Mr. Klaud Mutsuneng stated that it is regrettable that these actions are disrupting many lives and as a responsible public institution, we will not assist these individuals to push their agenda that seeks media attention. As a public service broadcaster, we have a mandate to educate the citizens and we therefore have taken this bold decision to show that violent protests are not necessary. We would like to encourage citizens to protest peacefully without destroying the very same institutions that are needed to restore their dignity. The SABC would like to make an appeal to other South African broadcasters and the print media to stand in solidarity with the public broadcaster not to cover the violent protests that are on the rise and in turn destroying public institutions. Is this the statement that you issued, uh, Mr. Mutsuneng? Chairperson, it is correct. Yes. Uh, you know, we even try to <laughs> lobby our, our partners, uh, but they came for us. But Chairperson, I'm still saying that statement demonstrates people who are responsible, people who are accountable on all issues that we were, the decisions that we were taking. The issue there, Chairperson, we didn't say, well, when you release statement, I'm just saying, Chairperson, because you know, I can't say to people, go and ban, we're going to cover. I was just running away from, because I knew that people, they want, they were even calling us. Now they are going to march and do ABC. We're just discouraging them. But we are still covering uh, 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 those visuals when they, they, they go and, uh, uh, and cause the havoc that they were causing. We're still covering it, Chairperson. It is a responsible uh, 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 statement. I don't see any wrong about uh, that statement, Chairperson, because we're still covering. <coughs> but when you do it, you know, Chairperson, even your children, you, you know uh, they can do this, but there is a way that they must do it. Uh, there is a way that you'll talk to them. And I'm not saying people of South Africa are children, Chairperson, because media can say I said people are children. So I'm not implying that. I'm just saying there is a way of, of talking, but knowing when you do your, your work, you do it professionally, even informed by the Broadcasting Act, Chairperson. So I don't think that statement, Chairperson, really, I think it supports what I said earlier, Chairperson. I'm sure Ms. Norman has further questions yes, for you, you on that issue. Yes, thank you very much, Chair. So um, I just want to understand that um, two of, of, of you within the SABC decided one day that this thing has to stop, it must not be covered. And you issued a statement. Uh, Chairperson, I have already answered that question. Yes. I said, Chairperson, uh, that is communication that went uh, uh, through to media or uh, people of South Africa, but the reality, we were still covering those visuals. But we, 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 we said to our, our, our people, be responsible, Chairperson. Because the view yes, that we banned... I'm sorry, Mr. Tsuneng, but the yes. question is, in effect, who are the people who made this decision? And I think Ms. Norman was saying, did you say it was two people? Uh, who are the people who made this decision? If it was more than oh, one. Uh, uh, Chairperson, as the COO of the organization, it is my role to take such decisions. Uh, I took that decision, Chairperson, and I stand by that decision. So wrong or right, you, you will have your, your finding, Chairperson, yes, because yes. I think I did the right thing yes. for uh, uh, SABC. I yes. still stand by that decision. Yes. I take ownership 
Yes. Uh, chairperson on what I did. So it was your decision. It was my decision. Yes. I consulted Jimmy Matthews. Yes. I consulted uh, uh, Dr. Chizumba. Yes. yes. But we agree on that. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. So now this decision is taken, and you've taken full responsibility of this decision. And anyone who differed with that decision had to be disciplined. Uh, not at all. Then can you explain to the chairperson how come that we have the SABC 8, that um, people that got fired, that got suspended, got charged as a result of failing to comply with that decision? Uh, before Sorry. that, Ms. Norman, I thought you, uh, I thought you, you might have questions prior to reaching that point. Oh, yes, I, I certainly do. Yes, yes, Chair. <coughs> Mr. Msoneng, uh, Ms. Norman won't forget her question. Later yes. on, she will, she will uh, ask it again. I don't read this statement that Ms. Norman has just read out aloud to mean what you have said. You have said the decision was not that the journalists should not show visuals of protesters burning property, for example. You have said that uh, you said they must be responsible. And we made that example that uh, I raised with you to say, okay, were you talking about, for example, um, a, a building is being burnt during a violent protest and somebody is coming out of the building and gets caught out in the fire and you say, that part, they must be sensitive, they mustn't show that part. And you said that would be one of the examples. And you said there are other examples which you didn't feel comfortable mentioning because this is a public forum. So my understanding of what your evidence is, is the decision that you took and conveyed did not say if people are showing, uh, if people are burning property during protests, don't show that. Yours was to go beyond that. If there's something else that's happening or that's connected with this burning of property. My understanding of your evidence was correct? It's correct, Chair. It's correct, yeah. Let's go back, let's go to this statement. Uh, you, you must just say if you would prefer to have it at hand now that we are going to it, but if you are still comfortable, if I just read the relevant portion, that's fine. <laughs> okay. No, Chair, I'm comfortable, you are comfortable. because I'm, I was involved, so oh, I know. Okay, yes, okay, yes. all right. Let, let me just read some relevant parts of um, some parts of this statement. The South African Broadcasting Corporation has noted with concern the recent turmoil arising from violent service delivery protests in various parts of the country. So the concern is turmoil arising from violent service delivery protests in various parts of the country. Then it says the SABC as a public service broadcaster would like to condemn the banning of public institutions and has made a decision that it will not show footage of people banning public institutions like schools in any of its news bulletins with immediate effect. We are not going to provide publicity to such actions that are destructive and regressive. Let's just take that. That seems to me, and you must tell me whether my reading of it is, in your view, incorrect. That says we are not going to show visuals of the burning of property during protests. That's my understanding of it. 
Is that your understanding as well? Just that part. If you say, well, if you read that part alone, I agree, but if you read it with the rest of something else that is said in the statement, it, it changes the picture, then we can, we can go there. But I just want to say, if you, anybody who read that part, would they be mistaken to say the SABC was t t saying to the public, you are no longer going to see visuals of the burning of properties by protesters? Uh, Chairperson, uh, my understanding on this matters is we release a statement, Chairperson. I agree with you, Chair, firstly. We, 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 we release a statement, but when you release as accountable and responsible person, I can't say we are going to, uh, I can't inc incite people. Uh, let me use this word. I can't incite people because by saying no, we will show these visuals, I'll be inciting a, a, a community to do the same stuff that I know it is unlawful uh, uh, through the act. But also, Chairperson, why we release that statement? People were calling us, now they were marching to SABC. Because when they see Free State is burning, a uh, Gauteng start. So they were saying, no, you have covered Gauteng. You have covered that one, you didn't cover us. So we are just dispelling to say, no, but this we can't. We are just discouraging people. But we, 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 we knew that, uh, uh, that's why I explained after Chairperson. When people were asking uh, these issues, I clarify, I think, uh, at that point, what we meant uh, by this uh, uh, statement. It was not a malicious uh, statement, Chairperson. We did that in good faith yes. uh, uh, to, to, to deal with such uh, uh, issues. Yes, but do you, do, you, do you accept sitting there now as we talk and me reading this part, do you accept that it says what I'm saying? Namely, the SABC is no longer going to show you the public. It's no longer going to show you uh, the banning of property by protesters. Uh, Chairperson, I agree with you. Yes. And I also saying when you go to other paragraph where you, you, you yes. spoke about people should march yes. uh, peacefully, yes. which means we'll show yes. what people are doing. Yes. We are just, I mean, Chairperson, to be yes. honest, I, f I think it's, it's, it's good accountability. I may be wrong, I may be, uh, be right, I'll leave that to you, Chairperson, but that is how we, we, we view issues, especially when people were starting to march to the SABs to demand us to show them, especially Vianney, Chairperson, you know what happened. You know what happened, library in Vez and other places. I'm just giving you an example, Chairperson. Yeah. And I can allude it today, Chairperson. Mm. Mm. The Facebook International, uh, if I'm correct, I, I think someone told me this uh, 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 this morning, they also banned this explicit uh, 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 visuals on, the, on, on, on their platform. I, I mean, I'm just saying uh, there is background each person on yes. these issues, yes. No, 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 that, that's fine. I think at this stage, what, what, I'm, what I, I'm trying to establish is what anybody reading the statement would understand. So what the statement means. It, it may be that when you explained subsequently after it had been issued to certain people or to the media, the explanation was something else. But I just want to say this is what it seems to mean. But I think we have agreed that at least as far as this part is concerned, that is what it said. It said SABC will no longer show visuals of protesters burning property. Uh, and then we can go forward, forward and look at others. Yes, That's Chair. fine. We, we agree, Chair. We agreed on that, yeah. And I want to say, Chairperson, uh, if you, 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 you take what the Labour Court says, yes. uh, with due respect, Chairperson, mm. I submit mm. that mm. I, I think by calling it a, a policy, mm. it was. Uh, uh, wrong because mm. it was a decision. It was mm. not a policy. Mm. Mm. Yes, Chief. yes, okay. Then <clears throat> that was the one paragraph and it is at page 84 of this bundle. In the next paragraph, this is what the statement said. The SAPC is cognizant of the fact that citizens have constitutional rights to protest 
and voice their concerns on various issues that they are not happy with. But we also do not believe that destruction of property is the best way to voice those grievances. These actions are regrettable and viewed as regressive on the developments made after 22 years of South Africa's democracy. That, that's, that might be fine. Then the next sentence, the next two sentences of that paragraph. Continuing to promote them might encourage other communities to do the same. The SABC would like to stress that we will continue to cover news without fear or favor. We will not cover people who are destroying public property. Uh, again, we will look at other parts, just this part seems to make it quite clear that the SABC is not going to show the public the burning of property by protesters. Are we agreed? <laughs> uh, Chairperson, uh, I'm one person. If I have taken decision, wrong or right, uh, I will just say my views. I don't want to say I disagree or I agree with, with, with you, Chairperson. You will come to that uh, conclusion. Uh, the statement is correct the way you are putting it, uh, 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 Chairperson. Uh, yes, the chair, uh, Sorry, the, I, it is correct, Chairperson. Yes. I just want to elaborate, uh, Chairperson, that uh, yes. uh, I still believe where I'm sitting now, Chairperson, yes, in this yes, seat, yes. that I did the correct. Yes. Uh, 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 I was correct when I took that decision. I mean, Chairperson, when you, you destroy mm. uh, uh, schools, mm where our children are going to, mm. uh, 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 where are going, uh, they are not going to be able to be in the school, mm. especially when we know there is unemployment. Mm. There is also shortage of resources mm. for the same uh, 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 issues that we are dealing with, educational uh, issues, Chairperson. So I think for me, I follow this yeah. Chairperson. I may be wrong, yeah. but I follow what yes. the Act says, and yes. I still believe uh, yes. uh, I was correct, Chairperson. Yes. No, 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 I think, I don't know of anybody who would not agree with you that the destruction of property, whether it's public property or private property uh, during protests is completely unacceptable. I certainly agree with that part of what you are saying. It's unacceptable. Um, but remember that this statement uh, while condemning the destruction of property and the burning of property during protests, it says, and we, I think we, well, we agreed, it says the SABC will not, no longer show the visuals of the burning of property. Uh, so, so there is that part. But I want to look at two or other parts and after that, you can indicate whether um, they, there is something else that would make you say, although those paragraphs that you have read, Chair, seem to say we are not going to show the burning of property. Actually, when you read the other parts, these other parts, they change the picture to say the message was different. Okay. Okay, All right. Now, the third paragraph on page 84 reads, the SABC's Chief Operating Office, Operations Officer, Mr. Claudi Mutsoneng, stated that, and it quotes, it is regrettable that these actions are disrupting many lives, and as a responsible public institution, we will not assist these individuals to push their agenda that seeks media attention. As a public service broadcaster, we have a mandate to educate the citizens, and we therefore have taken this bold decision to show that violent protests are not necessary. 
we would like to encourage citizens to protest peacefully without destroying the very same institutions that are needed to restore their dignity. Now, as I read this paragraph that I've just read, it seems to simply no longer now talk about the, sh the showing of visuals. It simply seems to criticize and condemn the destruction of property, the burning of property, that this is unacceptable. And as I said, as far as that is concerned, I don't know of anybody who would not agree with saying the destruction of property and the burning of property is unacceptable. But I don't know whether you have picked up anything from this paragraph that I've read now, which changes the message from saying we are not going as SAPC going to show visuals of the burning of properties. Uh, Chairperson, I, I, I think it changes because um, uh, what, what we are saying, we are just condemning mm. Uh, mm. Uh, uh, this burning of uh, visuals because, Chairperson, people also should think that we are also part of South Africa. Mm. I'm, I'm a citizen here. Mm. So I, I will also have my own views that I will think that this views really what mm. is happening. I think mm. even uh, uh, Chief Justice, uh, 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 Deputy Chief Justice, mm. he condemned this yeah. uh, 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 during the uh, uh, farewell of uh, Deputy Chief Justice Dikham uh, Moseneke. He was even vocal than me, I think so. Well, but if, I'm not, I don't want to say you are now. Well, if, 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 if it means anything, I can tell you that I condemn the destruction of property and all violence that we see in our country at different times uh, when there are protests. It's unacceptable. And uh, it, sh it, it doesn't define us. That is not who we are as South Africans. So, and I believe that most people would agree with that. So that part is not controversial, I think. Yes. Okay. So to the extent that this paragraph that I've just read condemns the destruction of property, I think it's non-contentious. Okay. okay. But I, I don't think, and I'm giving you a chance to to, 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 to say something if you don't agree. I don't think it cancels what I've read before in the previous paragraphs, which says, as SABC, we are not going to show visuals of the burning of properties. Uh, do you want to say anything on that understanding on my part? I, 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 I'm with you. Yes. Uh, my understanding, Chairperson, is the same. Yes. But uh, as I said, yes. what informed that uh, uh, that paragraph yes. is because people now, uh, they were marching to the SABC. Yes. We were yes. trying to find a way of yes. discouraging them. Because yes. now for them to ban, it was now a norm yes. that they will uh, rush to SABC and even demand that we yes. should show the visuals. I think we did it uh, in good faith. But your yes. understanding, Chairperson, mm. will be still my understanding. Yes. But I also want to justify that, Chairperson. Yes. After uh, uh, Sophie and Notando came to me, mm. I clarify uh, 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 this issues, Chairperson. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, and I think Advocate Norman asked me about uh, whether we, uh, if I'm correct, whether we uh, we did communicate with, with staff about mm. such uh, mm. uh, uh, decisions. Mm. As the COO, I communicate with people who report to me. Mm. So I'm expecting them to go and communicate with mm. people that report to, to them, uh, mm. Chairperson. Mm. I, I believe that they did communicate mm. uh, from that uh, uh, yes. uh, uh, angle, Chairperson. Yes. That is my, uh, that is my view, Chairperson. Yes. The last one, Chairperson, and forgive me on this one, because it just came into my mind. Yes. Uh, is it still the, on the statement because I'm about to finish with the statement, then we move on to something uh, else? Chairperson, if I, I leave this one, Chairperson. Okay. Uh, please okay, forgive me, Chairperson. Yeah, say it, yeah. Uh, uh, Chairperson, when my counsel was dealing with the issue of the, that form, what I want to clarify, Chairperson, there is no dispute about that form that I wrote standard 10. The dispute between me and public protector, what, I'm, I'm, uh, what I disagree with her, is when she says, I was employed at the SABC because I, I, I misled the SABC. 
That is where the dispute is. Uh, I said she was wrong because I was not employed because of that form that, of I, that form. I, I, I feel, yes, Chairperson. Because you had, you, had, you had already been employed by the time you filled the form. Yes, Chairperson. That was, that's your point. Yes, that, that, that is my point, the Chairperson. Yes, yes. And I said I did not lie yes. when I was employed. Yes. That is the uh, issue. Oh. But the form, Chairperson, yes. I think we are in agreement. Yes, Chairperson. we are in agreement on that. Yeah. Sometimes I differ with my counsel, Chairperson. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong about the issue. Okay. And he's here to guide me yes, and yes. advise me, yes. uh, uh, Chairperson. And I told yes. him, Chairperson, yes. I'm not not here to, to defend, defend or to do whatever. Yes. I, I'm here just to tell the truth, yes. right or wrong. Yes. And he knows, Chairperson, yes. he's here to, because yes. he's here, Chairperson, because I'm in court yes. on other matters so that he yes. can protect me on those issues. Okay, no, that's fine. Just to complete the, the statement, the last part that of the statement says, the SABC would like to make an appeal to other South African broadcasters and the print media to stand in solidarity with the public broadcaster, not to cover the violent protests that are on the rise and in turn destroying public institutions. So I, I think I've now read um, uh, almost uh, almost the, the, whole, the whole statement. I think the whole yes. statement. Uh, and I think you and I are bound to agree that the understanding which I've been talking about is correct. But it may be that you explained, when you explained afterwards, you might have explained it in a, in, in a different way. Is that correct? It is correct, Chair. Yes. Ms. Norman, do you want to yes. take it from there? Yes, thank you, Chair. Um, it's quarter past 11, Chair. Is oh, that? yes. Maybe before we take the tea yes. break, yes. Um, or maybe oh. let's take the tea break, oh, and yeah. then uh, we, we you, can Chair. come back. Yes. We will uh, take the tea break and resume at half past uh, 11. Uh, and I think I have reason to increase our tea break. And uh, let's say 25 to 12. We'll resume 25 Thank to 12. We are Jen. Thank you. All right.
demands. So I, sh I should have been back seven minutes ago. I'm sorry about that. Maybe before we proceed, let's finalize this part, Mr. Yes. Mswening, because I think it is an important part of, of uh, uh, matters relating to the SABC, uh, relating to the decision or the statement, what, they, what I think the SABC ate ended up calling the policy, yes. I think. From, from what you have said, I gain the impression, and you must tell me if I'm right, I gain the impression that you do not believe, as you sit there, that SABC should have made any decision to ban the showing of visuals of the banning of properties during protests per se. What you were opposed to was the SABC or SABC, the SABC complying with requests or demands from some people when they say we are going to be burning property, come and show us burning property. Am I correct? Is my understanding correct? Uh, you are correct, the Chair. Mm. But also uh, going back a little bit, mm. as I said uh, earlier, uh, the Broadcasting Act, I mean, talks about glamorizing Mm. Uh, 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 violence. So, this all this information inform mm. my decision mm. to mm. come to that uh, 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 conclusion, chair. Mm. But w we didn't really ban. Yes. Uh, yes, chairperson. We yes. didn't really uh, 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 ban chairperson. Yes. Uh, am I right to think that it would have been wrong to ban the showing of visuals um, of? Any, anything else of uh, the banning of property during uh, uh, protests? Am, am uh, I correct in, in, in taking that, that the view that it would be an, have been wrong, and is that a view that you share? The, the, uh, the banning per se, the showing of visuals, banning the property. You know, Chairperson, sometimes when you respect someone like uh, maybe your father, example, mm. yeah. <laughs> even if you disagree, it's, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. <laughs> yeah, but, but let me try to explain, Chairperson, in my... Uh, uh, in your own words. Uh, uh, yeah, Chairperson, uh, in my... My view, Chairperson, it is unlawful. Mm. I mean, I follow what the law says. Mm. I, I'm still saying today, mm. I mean, banning property, whether mm. private or mm. public, it is unlawful, Chairperson. Mm. I will submit mm. that. And we agreed on that, yeah. But remember, my question now is on the showing of the visuals of the banning of property during okay. violent protests. Whether maybe, maybe to explain to mm. that, Chairperson, mm. uh, for me, it's the same thing, Chair. You, you show the visuals. What are you showing? You show the banning, which is unlawful. Yes, I will submit that. Chair. But is the showing of the visuals so that the public can see what's wrong in our country, is showing those visuals unlawful on the, your uh, understanding? The how, Chair. Sorry? It, it depends the how. Okay, elaborate. Uh, yes, Chairperson. The how is, Chair, like I said, you, you, let's say television, this, this is life. If people burn this building, we are inside, and then uh, te uh, they show these vis uh, visuals, it will be unlawful. But if someone maybe come in and you know that there are no people inside, it is not unlawful. Okay. I okay. will submit that, Chairperson. Okay. Uh, based on that, I take you to mean that you are saying that 
simply showing visuals of the burning of property during protests on its own is not unlawful. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Um, uh, and, and you say you, in your own mind, you say you were not intending through the decision that you took, you were not intending to, bear, to ban the mere showing of visuals of the burning of property as such. Is I that agree right? with you, Chair. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it was certain when the, when the visuals show the burning of property in certain circumstances, that that's where the problem was, was as far as you were concerned, when gen certain people start saying, SABC, come and show us we are going to burn property, um, or when um, maybe there are people inside the building that is being burnt. That's the kind of situation you had a problem with. This is exactly what I explained, Chairperson, to mm -hmm. Notando Masego and Sophie yes. when they were coming to verify this issue. Yes. Yes, Chair. Uh, Ms. Newman, I don't know yes, whether you, you, you want to... Just to proceed on that, Chair. Yeah. Just, yes, yes, thank yes, you very much. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mutuneng, if somebody comes to the SABC and say, please cover this, I'm going to burn a building, that's unlawful, the Act says you can't participate in an unlawful act, am I right? Yes. So you don't need a directive for that. A simple no, we will not come, we will not cover it, would suffice. Yes. Good. Now, these... Were you aware that these were service uh, delivery protests? I was aware. Yes. And these protests, according to you, and the note that you sent, does not distinguish which protests must be covered or which protests must not be covered, as you have indicated to the uh, chairperson, that you had a, the house, how this is going to be done is what you were dealing with. But this you would agree, does not make that uh, distinction? Uh, I will disagree. But where does it make it? Where does it, where, where does it de de uh, define the ban of violent protests that you wanted to actually ban? Uh, I think, Chair, earlier I did allude to the issue that people were calling us. Uh, and you, sometimes, Chairperson, I'm a citizen. I know in the area the same so-called comrades, because they are unhappy within themselves, they mobilize these people to go and do these uh, issues. Even when you ask them, they will tell you. I mean, if you know the, 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 the reality, I mean, that will, will inform you all these uh, 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 issues. We can say protest, but also we must be honest. What, what is the cost? Of, 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 of this uh, 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 protest? So some of us who deal with a community daily. Sometimes we know what informs this uh, decision, uh, 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 Chairperson. Thank you. But then in your statement, not only do you say you want to uh, not to cover violent protests, but you go beyond that. You identify that there's certain people who have agendas. So uh, uh, it's not simply a statement of you saying, I want to caution my journalists not to cover these instances, but it goes beyond that because now you are in a situ you actually say that we will not assist these individuals to push their agendas that seek media attention. Because I know their agenda. Because they talk to me, these people. When they come, chairperson, uh, demanding this uh, 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 coverage, uh, they talk about, no, you have covered that one, that province, that province, that area. Chairperson, I want to repeat, in South Africa, there are issues that we should condemn from the onset. This is one of the issues that we should con con uh, condemn because we can't build monsters uh, in, in, in our society. We need chairperson role model. So I will die with this statement, Chairperson, and I, I'm, I'm doing this with due respect, Chairperson. Then, in your, in your uh, belief that you have to condemn this, I think um, you, you, 
you were not government. These protests were not against the SABC. These were service protests, um, uh, service delivery protests that were directed at government. And you are not government. The SABC was not government at that, at that point. Uh, Chair, my submission is we are all citizens. Government is us. We are government as citizens. No. But then, Mr. Mutsuneng, I just want to understand, how do you then use your powers as the COO of the SABC, a, broad, a broadcaster? How do you use those powers to deal with matters that affect government? If somebody, if these people were protest, protesting because they needed water, electricity, you knew that the SABC doesn't provide that. Now, there is not a single sentence in this statement that says there's these violent protests, we urge government to please handle this matter or help people so that this is, can be avoided. All you're doing really is to condemn the protests and then you say in the last sentence that the, the chairperson has read to you, the SABC would like to make an appeal to other broadcasters and print media to stand in solidarity with the public broadcaster, not to cover the violent protests, protests that are on the rise and in turn destroying public institutions. So you had moved away from being a broadcaster and you decided we're going to deal with this matter and nowhere in your statement do you call upon government to actually handle this matter? Uh, Chairperson, I will submit I follow the law. This is what I will submit, Chairperson. And in the issue of, I mean, it's a public broadcaster. I don't need to ask government. I don't need to do that. I mean, I'm a public broadcaster. There is mandate to cover government, to cover whatever that we must cover. So I don't need to go and tell government. Let them take responsibility to deal with the issues. That is not my, my issue to deal with. Yes. No, the issue is not you telling the people. The issue is you changing the mandate of the SABC to say to the SABC journalists, do not cover violent protests. That is the issue. I will submit, Chair, uh, 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 that sentence is wrong. Because I have already explained, <laughs> I have never said they should not cover uh, 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 this protest. So I will submit that I still stick uh, on the issues that I referred to earlier. Thank you. May, may, maybe let me come in at this stage. Uh, are you able to say as you sit there that to the extent that this statement that was issued by the SAPC may be read to mean you were saying uh, violent protests must not be covered or may be read to mean the banning of property, uh, the visuals relating to the banning of property during um, a protest should not be shown. It was wrong. In other words, to the extent that it can be read to mean that, would you be able to say no, no, no? To that extent, then it must, it must, it must be said to have been wrong. Uh, Chairperson, uh, banning of property. Mm. It is uh, wrong. Mm. It is unlawful mm. according to the act. Mm. Mm. We long agreed on that, you remember? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. It's, it, what I'm saying is, you rem remember you issued a statement to yes. the public. The public is entitled to read that statement and understand it, what it means. The SABC journalists themselves uh, should be able to read that statement and say, this is what it means. It says I mustn't do this, I mustn't do that, I mustn't do that. Now, that may or may, may, that may, or may not reflect what you may have intended. But when they read it, they would understand it in a certain way. Maybe subsequently there might be clarification which gives them a different picture, I'm not sure. But let's talk about somebody who picks it up and reads it. So I'm saying, are you able to say uh, 
in so far as this statement can be said to have said to the journalists, don't cover the banning of property during protests, then that part was wrong. Chairperson, I, I will submit that uh, in my understanding of mm. that uh, mm. uh, 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 statement, mm. my understanding is mm. we will cover mm. uh, 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 whether people are going to ban Mm. Uh, but we will not yeah. show, mm. uh, like I have already alluded, the yeah. physicality mm. of the, the, that, that, the, 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 the burning because of some reasons that I, 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 I was talking about. Chairperson, let mm. me give you an example. Mm. In the past, mm. you can cover it. Mm. In the past, because television was not live. Mm. Currently, television is live. Mm. Which means if you cover, uh, uh, mm. uh, because when you cover it, it's just the visuals. Maybe even the police can come mm. and, and, and look for those uh, 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 mm. materials. Mm. What I'm saying, Chairperson, when the journalist goes there, they mm. can cover it, mm. uh, have the records, mm. but not show those uh, 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 pictures uh, 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 because the access don't glamorize violence. You will show but responsibility, so Chairperson. Well, that seems to be a little different from what I thought we had achieved in terms of understanding and uh, maybe understand. My, my understanding so far has been that what you are saying is you never intended that visuals of the, uh, the mere visuals or the mere showing of visuals of the burning of property during protests should not be shown on television. My understanding is that you were saying you never intended to say that, number one. Number two, your understanding of this statement is that, uh, well, certain parts we, we reached is the same understanding, but my understanding is that you are saying you never intended to say visuals of the burning of property should not be shown per se. Your difficulty was other issues connected with that. One, if people are inside the building, or if people are trying to get out, they got caught out in the fire, or if people say in advance to SABZ, come and, and show us uh, we are going to burn property. That's my understanding that you were saying you were not intending to say visuals of the banning of property per se should not be shown. Uh, Chairperson, 100% I'm with you. Yes. Uh, the only issue I think here is English. You know, yes. advocate want to catch me <laughs> with something that <laughs> I have already <laughs> alluded to, but I do yes. understand that he's just doing her work, so I don't yeah. have a problem with it, yes. Chairperson. Okay. Also, I must stick to, but I think yes. it's, it's, it's English, uh, okay. especially not from her side, maybe from yes. her, my side, Chairperson, but yes. I agree with you what you are saying. Okay, all right. Thank you, mm -hmm. Thank you Chair. So when you agree then with the Chairperson, then it means you will agree that that sentence, second sentence in, in the second paragraph that says, we will not cover people who are destroying public property. If you agree then with what the Chairperson has put to you, then it means that you agree that this part of the instruction to should not have been made. It was it was it was contrary to, to the to the policy of the SAPC. Because in, you are not talking about visuals, you're simply saying don't cover uh, public projects okay. where, where there's destruction of property. But uh, Chairman, I will submit that we should not be selective. We should read the whole uh, uh, statement. So by reading the whole statement you'll come to conclusion to understand what, I, I, what we meant. And even after I explain to the SABC staff what I meant, I explain it to the public during those debates on the matter, Chairperson. Of course, okay. earlier on we went yes. through the whole of it. Yes, so, yes. So you remember that, yes. the yes. two of us at least. Yes. <laughs> yeah. OK, Thank all right. You. Thank you, Chair. Chair, uh, maybe let me move forward. Um, with, um, yes. No, the, 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 now, the, 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 could you just tell the Chairperson then if then a journalist go, goes out, covers uh, the violent uh, protests, 
and those footages are shown. What were the consequences? Uh, the consequence uh, of that, I can't say the consequence because there are no consequences. What we are saying, Chairperson, we just said people should be uh, uh, responsible, but uh, if so, we have been I'm given sorry. directives. I'm sorry, Mr. Nsoneng, I know I'm interrupting you in the middle of a sentence, yes, and I'm sorry, Ms. Norman. Yes, Chair. Um, I just want to say something to Mr. Nsoneng before we move to that to this, part. Yes. <clears throat> I just want to say to the extent that you say that in making this decision, you did not intend to ban, uh, so to speak, the showing of visuals of the banning of property or covering uh, the banning of property. To the extent that you say that is what, you are, that what, that is what your intention was, <coughs> it just seems to me now that you and I have gone through the statement, it doesn't. It, it seems to me that the statement seems to say something else, namely, uh, don't cover the burning of a property. We mustn't show visuals of the burning of property. That's the impression I get from it. And you know, earlier on, you and I went step by step to say, here is my understanding, and I think we ended up having the same understanding on, on what this says, but you did say, well, you explained it afterwards to journalists and to other people. So, so I just want to make the, that point and then allow you to comment that it does seem that the statement might not be reflecting what you might, what you say you intended. Uh, Chairperson, I think uh, earlier we agree. Mm. So I will submit that uh, uh, that agreement between me and you, Chair. <laughs> <laughs> still stands, Chairperson. Yes. Yeah, yes. still stands, it Chairperson. It stands, yeah, yeah. Yes, I can't move from, yes, from what we agreement. have agreed yeah. upon. Okay, okay. Yes, Chair. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. Um, so you were going to explain what consequences were there if people fail to comply with that um, directive? No, if people differ with you, there can't be a consequence. I mean, it's normal, Chairperson, that people must differ with you. I mean, uh, 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 you should allow that people to differ with you, but uh, you have responsibility as the accountable person, but it doesn't mean that when people differ with you, you can chase them away. You can't do that. Yes. Um, Chair, may I just take the witness to page 85? Um, this is the, a notice of suspension quoted in the Labour Court judgment. Um, well, I, I think you can take me to take page to, 85. Oh, uh, Mr. Uh, Zoning. Oh, yes, uh, by, he, the way, he, by the way. He, uh, just tell you. him, read to him what you. What, what is there? Yeah, he will deal with it, and if he needs to look at anything, he will say. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Chair, at page 85 of the Labour Court judgment, paragraph 17, the court recorded the following. Three days later, on 23 June 2016, Krecher, Fenter, and Kubule were called into a meeting with management and informed that they had been suspended. Disciplinary proceedings were instituted against all three employees and remain pending. The suspension notices of 23 June 2016 are identical in their terms and state. Re notice of suspension. It has come to management's attention that you have allegedly refused to comply with an instruction pertaining to the provisions of the SABC editorial policy as well as the directive not to broadcast visuals slash audio of the destruction of property during protest action and that you distance yourself from the instruction. The above alleged offense constitutes a refusal and of failure to comply with a reasonable and lawful instruction and same impacting negatively on the day-to-day -day broadcasting operations. Please be advised that management regards the alleged offense as being of a serious nature and is furthermore resolved that the potential of your presence at the workplace may interfere with the investigation into the matter. Therefore, a decision was taken to suspend your services with the SABC with immediate effect pending institution of disciplinary action. Your suspension is with full remuneration. Please hand in your SABC access cards, laptops, and then it goes on to tell them when the disciplinary, um, the, the, the further steps. And then yours faithfully, Simon Tebele, Acting Group Executive News, 
and current affairs. The first question, uh, did Ms., uh, Mr. Simon Tebele report to you? Uh, maybe, Chair, I should uh, explain. Mr. Tebele was the group executive uh, of news. The direct line is me. He, he reported, he reported to, you. to you. Yes. 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 Thank you. And were you aware that these journalists were, uh, um, in whatever capacity they were holding at the time, were suspended for f having failed to comply with the directive that the chair has taken you through paragraph for paragraph? The information chair that uh, I've got uh, from uh, SABC, uh, the information was leaking off the information of the SABC not the dispute between uh, 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 management and them. And Chairperson, I will refer you oh, to... Oh, I'm sorry, just repeat that. I want to make sure I understand it. The, the, the information that I've got, Chairperson, uh, the disciplinary hearing, it was because of the dispute uh, 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 that... Uh, uh, um, no, no, not the dispute, Chair, sorry, not the dispute. It was because the journalists, they leak information. They spoke to media. When the policy of the SABC, you are not allowed to talk to media. It was not about their differences uh, uh, when it comes to the visuals. The, the issue was uh, leaking information or communicating publicly so with uh, 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 the, 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 the media. The same with me. I communicated with media, I was chased away. I was disciplined, and the SABC got rid of me. Uh, the same SABC did that, but the court uh, ruled in their favor. So, but it was not the visuals. It has nothing to do with the visuals. But also, Chairperson, I can elaborate that, uh, really, I will refer the advocate to my affidavit. And I will stand by that, my affidavit, because even in that affidavit, I explained I was not involved. Even the finding of the court chairperson says what I was supposed to do is to, is to, is to, is to overrule, in my understanding. I may, know, may, I may use a wrong English, but it's to overrule management on their decisions. So I was not involved on the matter. I can't take the matter further than what I'm saying, chairperson. So what, what do you want the chairperson to make of this um, suspension notice, that it must simply be disregarded, it's not what you would have done, or you're saying Mr. Tebele did his own thing? I was not involved. Okay. Thank you. Now, can we then move to the second? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, before you move, Mr. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ms. Norman. Yes, I'm yes, Jay. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Um, I want to say something in regard to this, but before I do that, uh, going back, Mr. Mutsuaneng, to the statement that was issued by the SAPC relating to the decision that you made about um, uh, violent protests and so on. At some stage in the future, uh, somebody might stand in front of me there, a lawyer, and say to me, Chairperson, don't accept what Mr. Musonin said before you when he said his decision, when he said he did not intend to ban the showing of visuals of buildings during protests. That was not the truth. Don't take what you are saying. Because when you read the statement that he issued, that is now a lawyer arguing before me, before I write my report, a lawyer might say, this statement that was issued by the SAPC is clear as to what was not supposed to be done. It doesn't talk about journalists of SAPC don't be party to 
criminality and agree when people say we are going to ban property, come and uh, agree and come and, and, and show us. It doesn't say anything along those lines. If you read the statement, there's now a lawyer arguing to me. He says there are clear statements in this, uh, you know, uh, sentences in the statement which show that what was said was don't cover these protests, don't show the visuals of these protests. And when you look also at the letters of suspension of the relevant journalists, it's quite clear. Uh, uh, I just read a part that Ms. Norman read. It has come to management attention that you have allegedly refused to comply with an instruction pertaining to the provisions of the SABC editorial policy, as well as the directive not to broadcast visuals slash audio of the destruction of property during protest actions, and that you distance yourself from the instruction. The above alleged offense constitutes a refusal and or failure to comply with a reasonable and lawful instruction, and same impacting negatively on the day-to-day -day broadcasting operations. So this lawyer now argues before me in some months to come and says, make a finding that Mr. Mtsweneng knows enough English to have understood what this statement means. This thing that he did not intend to ban the showing of visuals has no basis when you look at the statement. What would you say uh, when somebody, if somebody says that? Uh, Chairperson, let me submit it to you, submit to you, to say to you, uh, when you read the act, it is unlawful, except if that uh, lawyer will be coming with, with, with his own law. But when you read this, Chairperson, actually showing violence, glamorizing violence, it is unlawful. If we stick it to, to the act, uh, uh, Chairperson. The second point, Chairperson, I will submit that that statement, it cautioned people about burning uh, uh, what do you call it, the weather building or, or clinics, uh, chapters, it, it, it just, it, it cautioned uh, 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 people. I will submit that uh, um, when you read the statement, really, I think, Chairperson, uh, if um, my respected uh, uh, advocate, Norman, mm. submit that, mm. I will... <laughs> well, it might not be her, but I'm just saying somebody. Yes, right. Chair. I'm yes. just saying because she's in front of me, Chairperson. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, Chairperson. Okay. So I will submit that, Chairperson. I mean, reading that statement, not looking for uh, uh, what you are looking for, mm. just applying your mind mm. independently. Mm. You will realize the importance of that uh, 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 statement. Mm. But also, Chairperson, even after that, let's say people didn't understand what we meant, even after that, I have already alluded to that I explain publicly so, and also SABC has been covering uh, such a protest uh, and banning of uh, 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 those properties, mm. but responsibly so. Mm. That is what I will submit to Chair. Thank yes. you. I interrupted thank you. you. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, then uh, I'm sure then, Mr. Musuneng, you would agree that the, you had these journalists that were suspended, and according to this judgment, the SABC had stated that they were suspended because they did not agree with that policy, uh, or whatever, whether you call it a policy or a directive, and that they had, um, were also critical of management. Uh, Chairperson, maybe I should also say that uh, we should not leave the issue about the Constitutional Court which we are part of, Chairperson. Uh, the journalist came to you and you dismiss 
especially on this so-called uh, uh, policy of uh, SABC about uh, violence, maybe uh, uh, starting from that point, the chairperson. The constitutional court, which all of us will respect, uh, 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 dismissed uh, those views. But the Labour Court chairperson, uh, if I, I may put my side of the story, I think they went out of their way to deal with issues that they were not supposed to deal with. Because there, the charges, it was about putting SABC into disrepute by talking to media. It has nothing to do with the decisions. And that's why I'm saying maybe uh, 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 um, when they went to court, constitutional court, because when they went there, they were trying to say the constitutional court should rule that the policy of SABC, it is unconstitutional, which the constitutional court rejected, Chairperson. Well, the, you are right to say I was part of the panel of the constitutional court that dealt with that matter. But uh, there, there, there is no recent judgment, if I recall correctly, judgment. There was just an order. Uh, I'm not going to speak for the court while I'm sitting here because I'm not the court. <laughs> but it's, it's worth just mentioning what the scenario was at the time, if I recall correctly. The, the Labour Court had when the Constitutional Court made its decision to dismiss the application um, to the court relating to the policy, I think one, the, the Labour Court had pronounced on uh, the issues that were dealt with in that judgment. One, two, I think the SAPC uh, had reinstated the, 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 the SAPC-8. But three, if I'm not mistaken, the SAPC had withdrawn, whether you call it the policy or the decision or the directive, all that, that, is, that had happened. And uh, sometimes when Sometimes when the control court dismisses an application without giving a full judgment, sometimes it is on the basis that the whole thing has become academic. I'm not saying that in that case that was the reason. I'm saying sometimes that is what happens. So, but I leave it at that. Uh, okay. Yes, you. Yes, you, may, you may continue. Thank you, Chair. Um, did you, Mr. Mitsuneng, um, on the 31st of May 2016, summon Mr. Krishna and uh, Ms. Pillay to a meeting to discuss matters that they were unhappy about? Uh, I met them, Chairperson, uh, but there is protocol within the organization. Uh, I informed uh, the head of uh, 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 news their head radio that uh, I, I, I want to meet them. But just uh, giving you background, Chairperson, the issue was the issue when they were dealing with the same uh, 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 um, uh, issues that we are, we are dealing with uh, 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 today. Because I said, um, they said no. Now I'm talking about the police, Chairperson. When I called them, it was because of the police. Uh, where, where, where they invited me for interview. It was myself and Anton Hennis. Uh, during that time after interview, they said, but we are not aware of this policy. I remember very well. Uh, Anton said to them, no, that policy is even in the, uh, uh, you can Google it, internet, you'll find it. In the SABC, you'll find that the policy is that, that was the main a, 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 a reason to, 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 to have that meeting and clarify the issues because it seems as a management uh, they were not communicating with them because when we take decisions whether at board level or at ESCO we are expecting the head of those units to communicate such decisions so that was the main uh, 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 purpose yes. Uh, both of them had testified before the chairperson that at that meeting, this is where you told them that if people do not adhere, get rid of them. We cannot have people who question management 
This is the last time we have a meeting of this kind. Uh, and Mr. Matthews added, it is cold outside. If you do not like it, you can go. You've got two choices, the door or the window. Maybe before yes. Mr. Mitsonin responds, you must just say where you are reading oh, that oh, from. Sorry, it's, is it's it also, minutes or is it something It is also reported? quoted in the judgment chair, but both witnesses testified to it yes, in okay. evidence. Yes. But what, were there minutes or was there something that they said They had recorded, recorded uh, yes. that conversation. Mm. And I can just direct in the bundle where their statements are. Yes. Yes. You, <coughs> I just wanted just to Just for the record, Chair. Yes. No, that's fine. I just wanted Mr. Mitsonin sure. to appreciate the whole context of what, of that. what you are saying before you, he responds, yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Kircher. Sorry, if I may just read paragraph three of um, Mr. Kircher's affidavit. I beg your pardon, Chair. Page three, paragraphs uh, nine, 10, and 11. He says, in attendance with Mr. Uh, Mutsoneng, uh, Mr. Jimmy Matthews, Mr. Simon Debele, Mr. Anton Hiennes, and Ms. Sibolelo uh, Ditlaganyani, and the spokesperson, Keza, Mr. Keza Kanyaho. These meetings were formally recorded and should be archived in the office of the GE News. Everyone was aware that the sessions were recorded. I transcribed one session, and my colleague Sandra Dilange also transcribed a session. At the meeting, Mr. Mutsoneng stated, we are cleaning up the organization. People are doing their own stuff. There are many journalists outside that want to work for the SABC. The environment outside is bad. No person within the SABC is independent. The SABC is independent. This is the new SABC. You must adapt to find a job elsewhere. Editors forum must go. It is advertising for rival newspapers. He added, if people do not adhere, get rid of them. We cannot have people who question management. This is the last time we have a meeting of this kind, which is the portion that I read. It's Krivani Pillay, I beg your pardon. KP, <coughs> KP3, page three. Uh, so I guess the first question must be whether Mr. Msoning confirms that I um, accepts that what is stated there as something that he stated is correct. Yes. And then we can take it from there. Thank you, Chair. Yeah. Uh, Chairperson, I did allude that earlier. I'm not here to defend or mislead the commission. Some of the issues that they are raising there, it is true. Yes. Uh, the only issue that uh, uh, that everybody was aware that uh, they were recording, <laughs> I was not aware that they, yes. they, they, were, they, were, they were they were recording. Maybe they were recording, but I, I was I was I, I, I was not aware. I, I saw them taking notes. There is difference between taking notes and recording. Yes. Thank you. So so whatever they've recorded is correct. No, I, I can't say it's, 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 yes. correct. It's, it's correct, the chair. Yes, I, I think can only talk about the issues that I know what I said in those. Uh, uh, yes, I think yes. what you, 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 you should do, to the extent that there may be something important out of what you read, because he says yes. some of those things are correct. He yes. doesn't say everything. Yes, chair. Those that you are interested in, put to them to say, can I take? Can we take it that you yes. did say this, so that if he says you, that chair. is one of the correct ones, then, then you can recorded. take it from there. Thank you, chair. Um, did you tell them, Mr. Mutsuneng, that you were cleaning up the organization? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you also say that people were doing their own stuff? Yes, I did. Did you say to them that there were many journalists outside that wanted, that wanted work for, to work for the SAPC? Yes, I did. Did you tell them that the environment outside was bad? Yes, I did. Did you tell them that no person within the SAPC is independent? Yes, I did. Did you tell them that the SAPC is independent? Yes, I did. Did you tell them that this is the new SAPC? Yes, I did. Did you also tell them that you must adapt or find a job elsewhere? I, I, I don't know that English chapter <laughs> where I said adapt, but what I remember very well, I said everyone should adhere to the policy of the SABC, uh, yes. uh, not that the adapt one, I, I, uh, yes. yes, that, that way, uh, okay. I don't remember saying that. Thank you. Did you say that the editor's forum must go? Yes. And did you also say that it was ed the editor's forum is advertising for rival newspapers? Yes. Okay. Did you say if people did not, do not adhere, which is what you've just said, get rid of them? Uh, I just want to 
remember exactly what I said, Shabazz. Yeah, no, that's I, fine. That's, that's, let, let me, I will come back to, yeah. to, to it. I just want to try to, to find try to remember. exactly yes. what I said. Uh, yeah. But I remember, Chairperson, yes. it, it was not a secret. Mm. I said, SABC, we are going to transform. Come what? Uh, when it comes to transformation issue, I said to the SABC, we are going to put the content that is in the public interest, which is local content in South Africa, and those issues, I don't uh, 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 really need permission, because this is what the Act uh, says, this is what the SABC we stand for. So I said, y you can't question the obvious. <coughs> Or, 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 or question that you can't do the policy. It's like saying, I can't adhere to the law. Uh, 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 except those issues, I said, it's public knowledge. It is not secret. I have been even publicly talking about these issues, Chairperson. Yes. I think the one that, I think, you said you don't know this English of adapt. <laughs> you said you don't know about that part. Let me put it this way. Did you say anything which was to the effect that anyone who was not prepared to adhere to this decision uh, will have to find a job elsewhere or something to that effect. Did you, did you say anything along those lines? Uh, as far as you remember. I think uh, I should give you background because you can't just say this without yes. Yes. A, 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 a background. Yes, yes. I said this because some of people within the <laughs> SABC, their mentality, it was still old mentality. And when you want to transform, you must transform a, 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 a chairperson. And you can't work with people that work against a, a, the issues that the corporation should achieve. So I'm not going to run away from what I said in those issues. There was background that I consider before coming to that conclusion. Even myself, Chairperson, if I believe that uh, these people, I don't agree with them, why should I, 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 I stay? I can't work against people if I believe that, really. I said to them, no, if you believe that SABC, this direction that you are taking, you are not in support and you don't agree with us, what do you do? <laughs> What's wrong if I said they must go and look uh, other uh, uh, opportunities outside? Yes, I said. So you, you, the answer is yes, you said it, but this is the context or background yes, to it. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. Um, uh, Mr. Musweneng, you are aware that ICASA did find that that protest policy was unlawful and uh, uh, on the 12th of July 2016. You are aware of that? I'm aware, Chair, yes. and I think, and in my affidavit, Chairperson, as I said, I know my affidavit and all these documents here. I alluded to this issue, Chairperson, to say, I don't know why they, you know media, Chairperson, media is very dangerous uh, 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 when you just follow what they are saying. Because I think, uh, because everybody was fighting the SABC and so on, they get in. Read their own act in this broadcasting act. That is what says, Chairperson, you should not lamaratize. Uh, 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 such uh, visuals. We stick to this. They, because according to my personal view, Chairperson, uh, as I said, I'm just giving my views here, Chairperson. Actually, I think, uh, uh, Chairperson, I will submit that they, they were wrong. They did not follow their own act when it comes to uh, uh, that issue, Chairperson. In any case, Chairperson, it was not a policy. It was a decision. Yes. yes. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Chair, just, uh, we have compiled a bundle of all the policies, um, but the one that deals with the aspect that Mr. Mutsuneng has just dealt with it will be contained in CC 35.10. Um, well, we have just, that copy is a loose copy. Uh, it's not in the actual bundle. For, for purposes of today, it will, okay. we will just use these. Mr. Mutsuneng, you are aware of the policy. You've quoted it in your affidavit. Uh, but do you want to have Well, a, if it's quoted in the affidavit, he has quoted it. He is likely yes. to, know, <laughs> to <laughs> say to he, know it. he knows yes. it. Thank you, Chair. May I just refer, Chair, to um, page five? Uh, he's referring to 
Regulation 3, because these are termed regulations regarding the Code of Conduct for Broadcasting Service Licenses, issued in terms of Section 54 of the Electronic Communications Act, number 36 of 2005. And the section that he refers to is, is, is Regulation 3, Violence and Hate Speech. It says broadcasting service uh, licensees must not broadcast material which, comma, judged within context, A, contains violence which does not play an integral role in developing the plot, character, or theme of the material as a whole, or sanctions, promotes, or glamorizes violence or unlawful conduct. So it's not just a blanket uh, prohibition because you have to look at a situation within a particular context. Uh, Chairperson, uh, and I'm not arguing about the law here, because uh, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just saying my understanding, as I said earlier, the way I, 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 I analyze and interpret it, uh, for me it is unlawful to glamorize a, 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 a violence, and when I, when I read this paragraph that uh, the advocate is, is talking about, uh, I still stand with those views, Chairperson, that I was within the, 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 the act, and I want to submit that uh, the, that decision of the ICASA, they went against their, uh, the act itself, Chairperson. That is my understanding. I'm not uh, arguing about the, the law chairperson. I'm just saying my understanding. I, I haven't uh, had a chance to look at the act as such, but I did ask one of my researchers uh, last evening to have a look at the act, and the report I got was that the act itself doesn't seem to refer to glamorizing mm -hmm. and, uh, and so on. But that that comes from ICASA, yes. Uh, and and this you, you said, Miss Norman, these are these are regulations. The, yes, yes, yes. These are regulations yeah, yeah, pro yes. promulgated by ICASA. To the extent that they are regulations, for the point that you may be wishing to make, Mr. Mutsuneng, it might not make a difference whether it's the it's in the act or regulations, as long as it is in the law because I think that was, that was your point. Yes. Yes. Now, I, I thought that uh, the question whether or not um, your decision had anything to do with glamorizing violence, yes. is that the word used? Glam glamorizing. Yes. <laughs> glamorizing. <laughs> glamorizing violence. I, I thought that that would not arise because your, I thought it would arise if your evidence was. I said the SAPC must no longer show visuals of the burning of property because I understood that that would be glamorizing of, uh, violence, which uh, the regulations say should not be done. But your evidence is that you didn't say the visuals must not be shown. So it therefore seems to me that the issue of glamorizing should not arise. Do I misunderstand anything? Uh, Chairman, you are, you are correct, <laughs> Chair. Uh, I think, Chairperson, well, in my reading, uh, I agree with you about what we have already agreed. Mm, mm. But if you, uh, 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 future uh, A, mm. contains violence which does not play an integral role in developing the plot, character, or theme of the material as a whole, or sanctions, promotes, or glamorize violence or unlawful conduct. So, Chairperson, in my view, all this uh, uh, paragraph, uh, in, in my understanding, it is warning the SABC what you can do and what you cannot do, uh, Chairperson. That is my understanding. Yes, yes. Don't and promote <laughs> violence 
Don't glamorize it. Don't sanction it. That is at least the, the prayer of B. Yes. yes, and the yes. part that I think also integral, which means yeah. uh, uh, in, 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 in my understanding, issues that they don't really assist the, 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 the country. The way I, 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 I interpret it, Chair, I may be wrong, but that is my, my understanding. But you are right, Chairperson, I think we have clo closed the issue of glamorizing yes. whatever. Yes, yes. Chairperson. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, uh, Chair, I would like to refer now to the um, editorial policies of the SAPC. That, this deals with the changing of reporting lines in the newsroom. Um, because according to the policy at page 22, Chair, that policy is contained, um, um, if Chair would like to have reference to it. Uh, I've got it at uh, yes. page uh, 17. Yes, Chair, that is correct. Of, uh, Exhibit 18. Exhibit 18. 17 and 18. Yeah. That is correct. Thank you, Chair. If yeah. I may ask Chair to turn to page 22. Uh, firstly, uh, Mr. Mutsuneng, why was it necessary to have the policy uh, change to the effect that now um, news reported to the COO and not to the Group Chief Executive Officer? Uh, Chairperson. Is that you, the issue of editor-in-chief? Editor-in-chief, really? yes. Yeah. The, the group chief um, executive officer, in terms of the policy, is, is the editor-in-chief. Um, so that changed, and they all reported to the chief operations officer. Uh, chairperson, if I remember correctly, uh, that policy changed in 2016. But even the previously, they were still reporting to me. In the past, the group executive of news, uh, they were reporting directly to the GCO. Uh, there has been change, not in 2016, but because it's, it's a broadcasting chairperson, and the strategy was put the broadcasters together so that there is no silos when it comes to making sure that we, 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 we generate revenue. It's, it's, it's that basket in, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in one uh, 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 division, Chairperson. We put that together. All the broadcasters, they were reporting to me, uh, Chairperson. And it is a strategy of the organization. And that strategy did work very well for SABC. All the broadcasters, they were reporting to me. Chairperson, <laughs> it can't be submitted that uh, if the strategy changed, it was wrong. Because it's just a policy. It's just the how people see things. You may see that, no, uh, this one must report to the, JFC, uh, the GCO. I may say, though, uh, this must report to the COO. I mean, to be honest, you, you can't hammer on such issues because it's, it's just a policy. It's not even an act. It's how do you see, I mean, uh, how do you align how do you think SABC will do well if we do A, B, C? I may say to you, Chairperson, in my view, and I'm not uh, 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 representing the board on this matter, so my understanding, previously when they were changing, I think it was uh, during Dr. Nguban, when they were changing is because I'm a journalist. As the COO, I know uh, this environment of uh, journalism. When you put someone who doesn't understand uh, 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 the environment of journalism, it is a problem. Because if you are peripheral to, to the person, what is going to do? What the person knows, I'm just saying, Chairperson, uh, if, if because we, we must go uh, and check the background, what informs this decision, Chairperson? So that I will submit it to you, Chairperson. I don't see anything wrong. But I accept the Chairperson. I mean, someone can come and say, this, this was wrong. I think it should happen. I may come even myself to say, no, this is what, I don't see any uh, problem. A person, when we are in charge at that time, we have our own view and strategy. So, and we will put what we believe it will work for the organization. There is nothing wrong well, with it. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Thule, when he was giving evidence here about his uh, uh, commission or, or in, in his report, said that the idea that uh, 
the group chief executive officer should be the editor in chief was an idea that was or may have been taken from the British system because there the director general would be a journalist and would have come through the ranks. So it, made, it would make sense that the director general uh, should be the editor in chief. And he says in their report, they recommended that that should not be continued with, with SAPC. In other words, the, the, the group chief executive officer should not be editor in chief. And he gave the reason, which seems to be similar to what you are saying. He said, because there is no requirement that the group chief executive officer of the SAPC should be a journalist. It can be somebody who is not a journalist. And uh, it is better that the person who has the final say on these matters should be uh, somebody who, uh, I don't know if he said who falls within the newsroom, but understood him to say it would be somebody who is, I don't know whether he's head of news or whatever. Yes, sure. But the, the yes, sure. point you are making, which might be similar to what he was saying, or similar to the motivation, is that you were COO, you were a journalist, so you understood certain things about journalism, and in your view, it made better sense that you should be the editor-in-chief. Yes, sure, but not... Uh, that is my view, but I was just alluding because when uh, a structure is changing and you are affected, they don't info, uh, you are not part of such a discussion. I'm just saying maybe that is the reason why I was put there because they understand that I come from this yes, uh, uh, yes. Uh, in, in environment, Chairperson. Okay. So, but are you, you, you seem to be implying that it was the board that said the COO should be the editor-in-chief. Is that correct? Whose decision was it? Uh, Chairperson, um, all the decisions, especially when you deal with policy, it's about uh, uh, resolutions. It will, all the, uh, it will be a, 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 a board resolution, Chairperson. What I don't agree uh, with uh, the issue of uh, Britain, uh, Chairperson. Uh, I, 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 may, I may have misrepresented what was said here, yes, so <laughs> no, I don't want you to blame <laughs> anybody no, because of... Correct, am I correct? You are correct. You oh, uh, okay, Chairperson. Yes, okay. M my point, Chairperson, you know, I have a serious problem with people copying uh, Britain and other countries. And I have been very vocal to say why these other countries can't copy us. You see, is this issue of coding other people in Germany and so on, but no one is coding you. Chairperson, this is what I'm saying, we need thinkers in South Africa, because uh, Britain and us, uh, Chairperson, we are very different. So we should come with our own, but also uh, other countries, they should follow us. We should be people who are thinkers, uh, uh, Chairperson. Of course, uh uh, to be a thinker also requires that you expose your thinking to other thinkers and you also get exposure to what other thinkers think. But in the end, you must make up your own mind. We agree on that. 100% Shepherd. Yeah, so yes. not that you mustn't have regard to what other people, what experiences other people have. Uh, you must have regard to that, but you must also have regard to your own experiences uh, as a people, as a country, and then decide what is best for you in the situation which you are in. I think, Chairperson, the environment itself, yeah. it needs that, that uh, uh, you, you know globally what mm. is happening, mm. but you apply what is going yes. to work uh, uh, yes. uh, for, you, for you, because there are mm. interaction between mm. uh, other countries and us, so that one mm. is, is normal, Chairperson. Yes, but yes. we should be yes. thinkers ourselves, yes. also, also uh, so that other countries, they can follow us, because yes. let's take the issue, Chairperson, uh, benchmarking. Mm. Mm. 
You know, I have serious uh, uh, discussion with SABC to say, but why do you want uh, to go outside abroad every time uh, for benchmarking? Uh, to, uh, for uh, uh, benchmarking? Why these people can't they use South Africa as a benchmark? But here I'm just encouraging that yes. we should be thinkers. I'm not saying yes. we, we can't go and engage other countries. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Maybe just for reference purposes, um, in, in his executive summary, Mr. Klolwe, in par at page 74 uh, of Exhibit CC 17.2 to 18, paragraph 6, this is what he says. Lastly, the designation of the GCEO or COO as editor-in-chief is not appropriate for the SABC because the circumstances of the corporation are different from those of the BBC, the model for the current structure. Yes, thank you, Chair. Okay. Thank you. I think um, we should just deal with the responses. You've dealt with the responses of Mr. Kreche and Ms. Um, Krivani Pillay. And I'm not sure whether you listened to their evidence when they testified. Uh, partly, Chair. Partly, yes. I did. Yes, thank you. Can I just take you to the evidence of um, Ms. Kubule and uh, Ms. Mwaba uh, Piri? Sorry. Uh, maybe before you, 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 you go there, uh, Ms. Norman, yes, sir. just also to round off something that we have dealt with already. Yes. You, you have said, Mr. Msuning, that as far as you know and as far as you are concerned, the SAPC journalists who were suspended and dismissed, um, their suspension and dismissal, uh, was or was supposed to be about them speaking to the media about certain matters. It was or was not supposed to be for their unpreparedness if that was what the case was, to uh, uh, comply with a directive that they understood to mean don't show visuals of the burning of public, of property. Um, that's what you have said, am I right? Correct, Chair. Yes. Now, if, if when one reads the notice of suspension and if one looks at the documentation and the evidence that has come before the Commission and what may still come, if one concludes that actually uh, the letter of suspension and maybe whoever it is who made the decision to dismiss, I understand you to say you are not involved with, with that. If one finds that they actually dismissed them, not really for speaking to the media or communicating with the media, but for their opposition to a directive or decision that they believed said they mustn't show visuals of the burning of buildings during protests. Is your stand that then they should not have been dismissed for that? Uh, Chairperson, news is a robust debate within news. I have been a journalist, I have been uh, uh, participating uh, 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 robust teacher, so chairperson, differing even with my, my, my bosses, uh, my, myself, about certain uh, directions that I think it was uh, wrong for the SABC to took, like uh, in their views, and I'm, I'm not saying I'm blind they are right or wrong. Uh, uh, so it's a, it's a robust, that is allowed in, in, in the newsroom, chairperson. And I will tell you, chairperson, because people use my name on certain issues. Uh, uh, and I'm saying this because if you go through the, uh, 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 my affidavit and the SABC affidavits, they confirmed that I was not part. Uh, but when uh, Simon Tebele went to, <laughs> no, no, even in his affidavit, but from the blue in court, 
his advocate stand up and said, no, instruction was from Saudi. Because I think they have been lobbying each other, I don't know, but that is what people have been uh, using uh, 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 my name, Chairperson. I will never allow a situation where people are dismissed because of the difference amongst themselves. It's, 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 it's normal in a newsroom, it's normal in any environment. In any case, Chairperson, I'm the most person who has been engaging staff of the SABC. The records will show you. Even the, 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 the SABC employees, they will tell you. We may differ, which is, is, is normal the way I do things, but if you talk about consultation, trying to uh, 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 explain to them why I'm taking these decisions and so on, but I'm aware, Chairperson, that uh, uh, people use my name. Example, Chairperson, uh, when Vuyom Vok uh, was supposed to be dismissed, so Fimukwen and Notando rushed to me to say, hey, Chief, we, we hear that you are saying this person must be dismissed. I said, no, I don't know uh, these issues. I'm just giving one of the examples. Uh, I'm very firm, Chairperson. And I, if I have taken a decision, I stand with my decisions. And I said, no, I'm not, I'm not aware. I didn't say those issues. Many people were supposed to be dismissed when management, they want to dismiss them. And they go there and use my name, Chairperson. And some people can allude to that, uh, 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 what I'm saying, Chairperson. I will never allow such stuff to happen at the SABC because I know that is what journalists should do, debate robustly amongst themselves. Where I would act is when it comes to transformation, Chairperson, where I think we must transform, we can't talk forever. Where there, Chairperson, I act. Well... Uh, there may be instances where at a certain stage there is discussion and consultation and debates and there's disagreements and there are different views and then <clears throat> but somebody needs to make a decision and says I've had all of you I've had all views but now, this is the decision I make. Some of you might not like it, but we have had a discussion. I've had you. I don't agree. This is the decision I make. Now, uh, I assume that what you have just said does not detract from that. You, you accept that you may have that situation uh, in any organization. Uh I agree with you 100%. That's why I said earlier, Chairperson, where I took decision, whether wrong or right, I won't mislead you on yes. saying I didn't take yes. these decisions. Yes. I, I took these decisions, yes. and maybe right or wrong, you'll yes. decide that, Chairperson. Yes. Yes. So someone must take decision. Yes. And yes. in my view, I have taken yes. popular decisions and mm. unpopular decisions, yes. Chairperson. Yes. And with regard to the suspension and, dis and, or, and uh, or dismissals of the journalists, you say you were not part of any decision to suspend or dismiss any of them. Is, is, is that correct? Or maybe some of them, yes, but others not? Uh, maybe, Chairperson, on the light note, oh, because sometimes I'm a human being, I want to just you know, refresh yes. myself. Yes. Uh, on the light note, Chairperson, uh, Simon Debel, who Simon? was the, Simon Debel, yeah, who was the head of news before this uh, issues happens, he came to my office. It was me, Anton, office manager Pasha. Oh, Anton is Anton who, Mr. Yenis, Chair. Yes. Anton Yenis. I think it was <coughs> Mr. Aguma. I, I was sitting with drinking tea in the morning before we can start with discussing. Yes. Yes. He came to me and said, "Hey, Chief." Blood on the floor. <laughs> I said, hey, chief, blood on the floor. He said, blood on the floor. I said, what is happening about blood? He said, no, no, these people, they defy me. These people. Did you say they defy me or they defy you? What they defy, no, chapter, he can't say me because they report to him. <laughs> okay, said, yeah. no, these people, they defy me. I said, about what? He said, no, chief, he discussed all the, the differences amongst themselves. And then I said to him, you know uh, uh, how I operate. Uh, if you know people are not 
following the policy or they are doing stuff that they are not supposed to do. You, you can't come to me and report these issues. You must take action yourself. So you don't report to me. So you are appointed there and you have delegation of authority. Operate within your delegation of authority. Because if you are going to cry to me, I will act on you. Chairperson, that is what I said. and that, That's what you said to him. Yes, that is what I said to him. To say, if you know, I mean, you can't come and report to me. Those people, they report to you. So if you do wrong stuff, uh, 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 that I believe uh, you do wrong stuff, I'm going to act on you. So my disciplinary action, Chairperson, if I was supposed to take any disciplinary action, I will take against Simon Devil. Not those people, because they, they it has not nothing to, to do you. with me. Mm. And I don't see it in those debates mm. where they debate uh, 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 stories, mm. Chairperson. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Um, so if Ms. Uh, well, maybe, I'm sorry, oh, sorry. again, Ms. Newman. Uh, it, it, when, when I was reading the Labor Court judgment and it said who had filed affidavits on behalf of the SABC, it seemed uh, strange that it didn't refer to any affidavit by you. Uh, that's simply because of what one was reading in the judgment. But it, it, it is the reason why there was no affidavit by you to explain the SAPC's decisions about the SAPC aid is the reason why there was no affidavit from you simply because you were not part of the decision to suspend or dismiss them. Uh, Chairperson, you are correct. But what is painful in that uh, uh, process? Uh, remember, the court says I must pay the cost. And I still believe, Chairperson, it was unfair because I was not given. A, 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 a time to tell my own story like I'm telling you today, Chairperson, and put my side of, of the story. And when I check that judge, judgment, it says, no, but we're supposed to, to, to stop it. But even stopping that uh, process of disciplinary hearing, then I must explain myself. But just to come to conclusion, Chairperson, to say, no, Saudi, you were, you, you were supposed to, 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 to stop this. You must pay the cost. It is unfair and it affects my constitutional rights, Chairperson, because that's why I'm saying, uh, with, and with due respect, Chairperson, that's why I was saying, it seems as also some of judges are captured by what media says, and maybe other people, uh, uh, they come to conclusion, hey, is that Saudi? I am in trouble. Uh, that is my view, Chairperson. Thank you. Yes, thank uh, you, Ms. Norman. Uh, oh, I see it's yes, one o'clock. Yes, it's one o'clock, yes, thank you. Yes. May I take the last well, adjournment? Well, Mr. Mtsoneng has uh, uh, been uh, on, on that chair now for quite some time since yesterday. Yes, Chair. But I, th I think it's important. I think the issues that we are dealing with are important issues. Yes, yes, Chair. And, um, and it's important that uh, they be dealt with properly. Uh, so. So, so I think from your estimation yesterday, it might I, I have been that we would have been done with him. True, yes. And yes, uh, I have intervened also to ask him quite a lot of yes, questions. Yes. But that's because I wanted to satisfy myself on certain things yes. and to give him a chance to also clarify his position on a number of things. So I, I think it's yes. nevertheless important uh, yes, true, because uh, it relates to imp an important institution in the country yes. as well. Yes. So we are, we are going to take the lunch adjournment. Yes. So, Mr. Mtsoneng, I'm sorry that we haven't, we're not done yet. So we'll, we'll continue after lunch. Yes. But I think that it's in your interest too that these issues be dealt with properly. Uh, Chairperson, mm. actually, Chairperson, I, I, I'm very glad because no one has ever listened to my story. People have taken a conclusion without me being part of their conclusion, Chairperson. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, Chairperson. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you Chair. We'll take the lunch adjournment. It's one o'clock. We'll resume at two o'clock. Thank you, Chair. We are adjourned. All right.